Hello, General Sylvie Lantom from AFP. Um, we heard reports about um, children separated uh, from their families during the evacuation. Do you have any case of uh, children uh, uh, traveling alone, and what? How do you deal with them? Thank you. Great question. So we've had a couple of unaccompanied children arrive at our task forces. Uh, they're immediately identified and Health and Human Services is the lead agency to take responsibility for any unaccompanied children. Uh, in each case, they have quickly adapted and take responsibility for those children. Each of their personnel are certified, trained, uh, very experienced uh, to handle these cases. We do not uh, retain responsibility for those, but we do identify them and pass them on to Health and Human Services. Where do they go? I would defer to Health and Human Services for that. Uh, Health and Human Services, I believe, has facilities in Washington, D.C., uh, near Dulles, where they're currently housing any unaccompanied children. Uh, what, what I've seen is they're incredibly uh, fast in trying to work to identify where the families are and get them re reunited with their families. Do, do you have a number? I do not. Health and Human Services is the POC, and I'd refer you to them. Let me get back to the phones. Um, Jack Detch, Foreign Policy. Hey, thanks for doing this, General. I'm curious if you have a, an outlay or a ballpark figure of how much it's going to cost to house um, Afghan refugees at U.S. bases. Thanks. I don't have uh, that figure. I would refer you uh, to the, for DOD purposes, to OSD and the Comptroller, but more broadly, probably to the lead federal agency. Apologize, I don't have that data. Okay, no problem. John, if you could take that, that'd be great. Jack, I will take it. I suspect that we don't have a firm estimate right now as we are uh, really just in the middle of this uh, operation. But, Jack, that's a fair question. We'll see what kind of context in terms of uh, costs we can get to you.